I recently showed you how to use Samsung's own themes application to make your Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus look and feel more like stock Android. Now there are a lot of different themes that we can go and pick through with the Samsung themes application but the actual customization options within that application is rather limited. So today I want to show you how to install and set up a theme using the theme engine Substratum on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus. Now I'll have all of these steps outlined in order in the full tutorial that will be linked below this video for those of you who are watching this on YouTube. But we need to do some stuff ahead of time including enabling USB debugging mode. You need to go ahead and have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your computer. You need to start that ADB service so that we can connect the Galaxy S9 to the PC with a USB cable and grant that PC USB debugging access to this particular phone. Not only that, we're going to have to download and install the Substratum application on the Galaxy S9. You're also going to want to download the paid add-on for Substratum called Andromeda. Along with that comes a desktop client for Andromeda that you will find, again, it'll be linked in the full tutorial, but it's actually hosted on XDA Developers. Once you have Substratum installed, Andromeda installed, we can go ahead and open up Substra Substratum. When you first do this though, it's going to have it enabled for the Samsung version. So the strong media mode. We actually want to disable that strong media mode because we just want to use Substratum in Oreo's offline mode. To do that, once we open it back up, it's going to need to check the status of the desktop client. So once you extract the Andromeda files, you're going to see a start underscore Andromeda.bat file. Go ahead and double click on that BAT file. It's just a batch script that's going to execute a number of commands in the command prompt. And we're going to see that status go from disconnected to connected. Now we can go back into Substratum. You're going to see all of the Substratum themes that we have installed. And again, you're going to need to have a theme installed that supports Samsung devices. So once we go into that theme, we're going to tap on a drop down menu right here at the top and select the version of Android we're currently using, which is Android 8.0 Oreo on a Samsung device. And this is going to be all the different overlays that this theme currently supports for this device. Let's show you how that looks. You can see we have the settings application right here. We're just going to select it, tap on build and enable. It's going to say that the overlay has been updated, but it's actually not in the manager list because it hasn't been installed properly. So from here, we're just going to reboot the device. While the phone is rebooting again, we're going to need to go back to our desktop and get ready to start the Andromeda service again. The Andromeda service will continue running on your device until you reboot it. So you can see from here, going back into Substratum, we're going to see that the check status mode is not ready. After running it on our computer, it's going to run those commands and that's going to turn back green. Now we can go back into Substratum and now we see that the calculator and settings application and overlays have now been themed properly.
now whenever we go into the settings application you can see it is themed exactly how we wanted it to be and you can even uninstall these themes very easily with our calculator application it's themed to dark go into substratum tap on the manager tab select the calculator overlay uninstall you can see it turned orange and yellow again and now the overlay is gone so that is how to use the substratum theme engine with the Andromeda add-on to theme your device and your device's applications on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus.